Hey, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It is time for the birthstone make along. Yes, it's the 1st of November and it's time for the November colours. I apologise, I am a little late, but it's still the first. Life got in the way this week. I've just been so busy. Anyway, we will get started. We review October. October was opal with a spiritual meaning of hope. Hope for me means that we will move forward and have a more normal lifestyle all around the world and that hopefully we can travel worldwide, see our loved ones and make new friends and that things can only get better from here. So Opal, I let you pick your own colours because there are so many colours in the facets of an Opal it was too hard for me to do. Some people checked out opals and found a picture that inspired them. Some people used their own opal jewellery to inspire them. But the pictures, posters, they were awesome to see and I really enjoyed it. We had a couple of late entries come in. I haven't had a chance to reply to your emails, ladies. Internet's been a bit of an issue here. So Paula and Jane, yes, I did get your entries in for October. What can I say? It was just awesome. We had 17 pictures posted. Yes, numbers do drop, but they were lovely pictures. And I was, or am, giving away a $25 gift voucher for October's entries and participants because Opal was such a difficult stone to do. So I put the 1 to 17 in a spreadsheet with people's names next to it. It was a little small for a random number draw. So I got thing earlier just to tell me a number between 1 and 17. And he picked number 7. So I have to check here. Dun, 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 dun. The lucky winner in number 7 is da -da -da -da, Lee Armstrong. Number seven was Lee Armstrong. So Lee, my email will be in the description below if you can make contact with me so we can organize a $25 gift voucher. If you live in the US, Canada or UK, it'll probably be an Amazon voucher or a Ravelry voucher if you want. Maybe even an Etsy voucher. I've never done one of those. I don't know if you can. But if you live in Australia, I'm happy to do Spotlight or Linkcraft voucher. So make contact and we'll, we'll arrange your prize. And thank you to everyone who participated in the October Opal section. It was great to see. Now being Opal and so many different colours used, it was difficult to come up with a yarn to put into the prize draw. So first of all, because I like black Opals, I do have this Red Heart Aran leftover. One complete haul from the project I made for Thing. I actually bought four and I only needed three. And I thought that because the base colour is really black, not that you can tell from this one, has all the colours of the black opal. Now this one is made in Australia um, by the Australian Yarn Company under licence from Red Heart. It's a um, Texas 6 millimeter crochet hook. I don't think they tell you, like it's a, a medium 4 or Aran. So that is one choice. And how big is this ball? Pretty big. 300 grams, 520 meters. So look at that one. That's representing a black oval. Today I went out and I bought, because there are a lot of milky opal pictures posted, and I bought this one. That's flaring a bit. It's sort of white with all the different facet colours of a milky white opal. This is Spotlight Saver Prince. It's 140 grams, made in Turkey. Um, five millimetre crochet hook. It's like a four. And how many metres is in that? 100% acrylic. Colour is called Baby Pastels. Um... 238 metres in that one. I thought that was great because in our stash already we have that one and they could be combined, they're the same brand, could be combined for a project. But guys, 
yet again I'm going to ask you to choose which one do you think should go into the prize draw because I'm only putting one the black or the milky white leave a comment below this video black or milky white which would you prefer to see to go into the major prize draw and that'll help me decide it all depends on what you guys think and I'll let you know next video so that was October in a nutshell a lot of fun even though I left a lot of the decisions up to you we move into November and November's birthstone is citrine and its spiritual meaning is fidelity and faithfulness now I'm gonna to have to read some of the information I researched on citrine I used to work with a girl up on the table hands that had the most beautiful citrine it's like a heavy chain necklace with a heart at the center of the heart was a citrine all in gold with this beautiful orange citrine um, it was a gift from my parents I really loved it I, one of the nicest pieces of jewelry I've ever seen I don't own any citrines Citri citrine is a quartz rock or gem a type of quartz its colors vary from yellow to yellowish brown to brownish orange orangish brown greenish yellow so there's some of the colors you can find in the facets of citrine it is the spirit um it is the planetary sign for virgo citrine it's a sun sign the rarest and almost purest citrine is a yellow, like a lemony pale yellow with some white. They're the rare ones. On the weekend, Thing and I went up to Coranda to do some local Christmas shopping, some early stuff that I may be able to send overseas yet to find out. And there is a gemstone gallery out there. And he had two pieces of citrine ore in a glass case they were absolutely beautiful pure citrine um, very expensive and no he wouldn't let me photograph them but at the end of this video will be some photos of citrine colors for you to get inspired and I will tell you your color choice at the end so natural citrines are found in the Ural mountains of Russia and in Madagascar most of the citrines today in the like your jewelry shops your cheaper ones that are orange aren't really citrines they're heat treated amethyst and they come from Brazil um, apparently if you heat treat an amethyst you can make it look like a citrine an orange citrine and that's what's in a lot of jewelry shops you really have to be careful that you're actually buying a pure citrine or citrine purity The world's largest fatted citrine weighs a mind-blowing 20,200 carats. The Malaga citrine was first discovered in um, Brazil, of all places, between the 1980s or 1990s. They're not sure. The Malaga beat out the pre previous record holder, the Sol de Sur, which was 8,200 carats. So it was more than double its size. The most expensive citrine I could find sold was a stylish cuff, cuff bracelet set with a 160 carat citrine and it sold for $120,000 at a Fortuna auction house in 2018. Wearing a citrine is said to revitalize you, um, clears your mind and sharpens your focus. It helps get rid of all that negative energy, something I could use right now because since my fall I'm a little vague my mind's not where it should ha it should be and I have trouble concentrating the doctors told me that will pass because I did get quite a bad, bad blow to the head but yeah um, I could use a citrine right now <laughs> to wear it might have to drop hints to thing for Christmas so what are your color choices for November well here you go pale yellow white or variegated like a lemony yellow not too bright you can do the variegated with the white this is about the only pale yellow i have in my stash to show you you can do white 
pale yellow or a variegated white and yellow. That's your colour choice range for colour choice one. No, I am not stopping there because it's an opportunity to use orange, my favourite colour, <laughs> the orange colour range. You can go from bright orange to a more paler tan orange to a variegated orange to a rustic orange. They are the traditional colours you see in jewellery shops. But yes, orange. I'm so excited. Will I use orange? Don't know. Haven't decided what will look good on my blanket. That is your colour choice. Pale yellow, white or variegated pale yellow and white or the orange colour range, including variegated oranges, which might lean towards a bit of brown. I think it's exciting. We've got one month to go. So yes, in summary, it's been a lot of fun and I have been planning a year-long make-along for next year. I had a bit of a speed bump this week because I thought I'd have to come up with another idea because um, I have to do some copyright checking. But uh, with Reeves's help, I think I will be okay to do it. And yes, I'll be doing like a video like this once a fortnight. So stay tuned. In December, I'll give you more information so you can organise your stash. I think next year's will be just as much fun and you may have to be a little bit more creative without my help. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know. Black or milky white to go into the prize draw? Just one wall to go in. Which would you like to go into the prize draw? Until next time, stay safe, take care. Remember, life's an adventure and you can have a yarny adventure with citrine colours. Bye for now.